Hey guys, Archie Luxury, Archie Luxury Channel, Paul Pluto Channel. To do today, to do, to do today, 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 to do. I'm doing paid reviews, guys, and this is paid review MA8. MA8, and before I start MA8, let's do a quick wristwatch check. I invented wristwatch checks. I invented it, so I'm going to do one. I'm wearing a two-tone bluesy. Uh, this is a late model. This is actually the last it's a V serial number and you look it's got gold in the clasp there I love this piece. Okay, we're doing a paid review MA8. This is for what is for Felix Felix Felix. He goes, okay Hi Paul. I'm Felix. G'day I'm a long-time fan have enjoyed your unabashedly brutal but honest watch advice and I hope to get some good advice from you for my own been collecting 60, 70 Seiko dress watch divers. Let's, but let's say every man is entitled to a bit of a fetish and they are cheap enough anyhow. Uh, but let's not waste your time with my fuck me dead shitters. I need advice building some heavy hitting Rolex. I've uh, paid you $50 because no one should do 50 US because no one should do shit for free. So I've put aside some money and have been collect watching Chrono24 for price drops, but it's only going up. Ultimately, my question is if I should buy what I could afford now or grow my collection piece by piece as funds are available. I have put together a few watches which with target prices and would love to get your opinions on the many regards. Okay. Let's have a look. Group A, buy ASAP. Number one, a Rolex GMT Master 2 16710 Coke uh, or Pepsi, nine and a half thousand US dollars. This is the one I really want to get, to be honest. Number two, Rolex Day Date, I think you mean Datejust 1601 White Gold, two and a half thousand US dollars. I think you're talking steel with white gold bezel. It's not a white gold piece. I love smaller, classic, do everything look. Okay, so let's just go through this list here. Um, if you want to get a Pepsi or a Coke, I think that's a good idea. This is the pre ceramic. I think that that's a good idea. 1601, they just, I don't think that's such a good idea. I think they're a lousy investment. They're too small, they're 36 mil. Millions of the fucking things were made and I got to be honest with you you if you're gonna get one you want the best of the best of the best and uh, I 1601 uh, I'd rather a 16014 a really nice sharp one or a 16234 which is the sapphire crystal with quick set I think that's probably a more usable everyday watch Group B by ASAP. Number one, a Rolex sub, no date, two line, 14060, 7000 US. Love the clean look and the vintage two line. Pulling to get tritium, uh, looking to get tritium example for the look. Yeah, I, I think that's a good idea. I think a sub, no date, two liner, that's a beautiful watch. Beautiful watch indeed to get there. No questions of it that's a that's a fucking actually I've got one here on the floor got one here this is a mate of mine's um, has a, a 14060 14060 yep I think that's a nice beautiful honest classic iconic watch very very cool buying indeed uh, and then an Explorer 2 Polar 16570 5.6 5. U. Wow, yeah, something like that. Um, just wanted a GMT, but not in love with it, or maybe a Tudor Black Bay. No, get, get, get the get the get the the Rolex Explorer 2 would be a much better investment than a Tudor GMT, definitely. I reckon that's a beautiful two piece combo pair where you've got a two line pre ceramic sub, no date, and you've got a um. A Polar Explorer 2 40 mil perfect and all you do then is you add in a Speedmaster you got a perfect three-piece killer sports combo deal option C 
grow collection piece by piece of what I really want, wanted most. More money will take longer to acquire. Number one, a Pepsi, a Coke, GMT2 at nine and a half. Two, a no date sub 14060 or a Sea Dweller 16600. Uh, maybe down the road, men on the moon. Fuck me dead, you guys. You just go on and on and on with this. I tell you what to do. I'll tell you what to do in a minute. <coughs> I love your free, your free to own concept and hope to make an, this an investment collection. I know my heart is in the right place for Rolex, but should I buy now? All these older pieces are so inflated, or should I be looking at buying new retail? Felix, Felix, I tell you what you fucking do. Oh, we've got a PS, PS. I have been bidding on eBay, forget eBay, for a 36 mil mid-range Seamaster with a green wave dial, blah, 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 blah. Tell, don't, don't waste your time on eBay. eBay's fucking full of sharks. What you do is simple. Okay, you've got to be a man, okay? I tell you what you do. You go and buy a no-date submarina. No-date submarina. We go for Group B. No-date submarina, two-line. I reckon that's a great... Those are not going to go any cheaper. That's a good buy. Buy one of those or a Sea Dweller, 40 mil, the pre-ceramic. Get yourself an Explorer 2, which I honestly think the Explorer 2 is a better watch than the Pepsi or the Coke. In my day, I never even wanted a fucking GMT. I always wanted the Explorer 2. I thought with the fixed steel metal bezel, it was a much better piece. And I would get a man on the moon. That's what you do. Now, what you need to do is, if you don't have enough funds, you get a personal loan. You get a credit card, okay? That's what you do. Okay, that's what you do. Felix, come on. Be a fucking man. Be a man. Be a man. Be a man. Be a man. Russell Peters would say, be a man. Be a man. Be a man. You need to buy this. Three pieces. Get the three pieces. Get a MasterCard. MasterCard or a Zip home loan. Zip, Zip, Zip gives you per... GE money can lend you money at reasonably good rates. Um, that's what I would do. You need the, every man needs those three pieces. You just do it, do it. Your life will improve. You'll have more success with the women. Your career will prosper. Instead, you're a fucking, you know, just reading between the lines here, Felix, you sound like a bit of a loser, okay? You sound like a bit of a loser there with these Seikos and shit like that. Be a man, for fuck's sake. Stay away from those 1601s, they're garbage. I, I, I'd, I'd never see them going up much. If I were you, four-piece collection overview for you, I would immediately buy the no-date two-line sub. Get a clean, honest, beautiful example. Don't so worry about papers. You want a nicest, cleanest example you can get. Get yourself an Explorer 2 Polar, the 42, or Polar or Black, it doesn't matter. And then get yourself an Amiga Speedmaster Man on the fucking moon. Those th three pieces. <coughs> get those three pieces. And then get yourself a 36 mil date just 16234. Four piece combo collection. It gives you all your bases covered, Felix. Be a fucking man. That's what you do. That's what you do. You do that. You do that straight away. Okay, get rid of the Seikos. Whatever you need to do. You need to do a bit of Ubering. You get a second or a third job, Sunshine. You fucking do it. Make it happen. Be a man. Be a man. That's what you do. Make it happen, Felix. Felix. Make it fucking happen. Uh, I'm sorry to be tough on you there, but fuck me dead. You go on. All these fucking choices. You're worse than a woman buying a fucking pair of shoes. You pay me the 50 bucks. You ask the advice and you do it. You don't fucking question the pontiff, okay? You fucking do what I say. So my advice to you is, um, as I said, I'm going to... Why do I repeat myself? Because I'm dealing with idiots. That's why I repeat myself over and over. It's... I'm trying to get this knowledge into the audience, okay? I'm trying to get the knowledge in there. That's why I keep repeating. So to repeat it again, we're going to go no date, two line sub. We're going to go 16570, black or white, I don't care. That's the 40 mil Explorer 2. And we're going to go Speedmaster, man on the fucking moon. That gives us a three piece combo meal deal. And then if we can get a bit more limit, you know, uh, lie a bit. We're going to get a Datejust 16234, four-piece combo collection, three Rolex, one Omega, 
fuck, that's a nice collection. That is really nice. It's affordable. It's just going to go up in value. Get all the boxes for them. Get period correct boxes. Get the booklets. It's a fucking nice set. And you get if you've got a bitch on the side there, get the bitch a uh, an Amiga Constellation or a Rolex Oyster Perpetual. No date, no date. Bitches don't want dates. Um, just get a simple steal. <coughs> That's it. Your life is complete. That's all you need to do. You, you follow the advice, you're going to be happy. You don't follow the advice, you're going to be miserable loser like you, 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 you've been for the last 20 years or 30 years, however long you've been, you've been fucking sucking the life out of people. So, Felix, that's what you should do. You listen to me, you go out there, get those pieces and stop fucking around. I'm Archie Luxury, I am the Pontiff. I am the greatest YouTube guru known to man. My advice is what solves, this is the meaning of life. I've given it to you. Whether you act on it or you don't is up to you. Like, subscribe, tell your fuckwit friends and don't be afraid to put some nasty comments down below. And remember guys, paid paid reviews is what keeps me on YouTube. Without these reviews, I cannot make content. I cannot continually make content. So guys, these reviews, this is what keeps me going. So don't forget that. If you see, if you don't keep getting reviews done, I'll disappear. I'll get disappear. So I'll leave it to the audience. You decide what you want to do.